Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 193. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. This problem that we're about to do, 193, you will find that it is very similar to the two problems that we had or already have done, number 182 and 187. So if you watch, if you watch 182 and 187, problem number 182 and 187, and if you're able to solve those two problems yourselves or by yourself, then you should have no problem, you should have no problem, you should have no difficulty tackling this one. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says two people are 16 kilometers apart. They are 16 kilometers apart. They start walking at a constant pace and at the same time, they start walking at a constant pace at the same time and in the same direction. In which case, they meet in eight hours. But we are told if they walk in the opposite direction, they manage to meet in only two hours. The question is, how fast are they walking? How fast are they walking? How fast that is? How fast are they walking? Not the walking part. How fast are they walking? Their speeds. And their speeds, in a problem such as this one, their speeds throughout the entire problem is assumed to be constant, whether they're walking towards each other, whether they're walking in the same direction or in the opposite direction, their speeds throughout the entire story is constant. Do you understand? Let's begin. Let's first understand what the problem is talking about. So we have two scenarios. In one scenario, first of all, we know they are 16 kilometers apart. If they walk in the same direction, if they walk in the same direction, we are told that they meet in 8 hours. Let's take a look at that one first. Walking in the same direction. And they are 16 kilometers apart. So let's keep that in mind. So here is here's, uh, here's Mr. A and here is Mr. B. And they are 16 kilometers apart. And they are walking in the same direction. They are, walking, they are both walking in the same direction. And they happen to meet here. They meet here. We are told in 8 hours, as you can see, they are both walking in the same direction. In which case, they happen to meet in 8 hours. What does it tell us? The fact that they started out 16 kilometers apart, the fact that they started out 16 kilometers apart, and they managed this distance right here was 16 kilometers. This distance right here was 16 kilometers. And they managed, they managed to meet they managed to meet in eight hours, that tells us that this guy must go faster than this guy because he has to cover 16 additional kilometers because he's 16 kilometers behind this guy. So instead of calling them A and B, which we had originally done, let's change their name. Let's give them a different name. So let's, let's, let's give them names that are easy and logical. I'm going to call it Mr. F and Mr. S because he's slow. He's slow. He only travels this much distance in 8 hours, let's call it d kilometers. So S travels, Mr. S, which is, which is, which is a slow guy. S travels only d kilometers in 8 hours. Because they meet in 8 hours. We need the room, we're going we're gonna to worry about this letter when, they, when they're going in the opposite direction, they happen to meet in two hours, we'll worry about that later, that's the second part of the story. So what is the speed? He travels, S travels D kilometers in eight hours, so which means the speed of S. S, we're going to use S for their both, both their names, their names and their respective speeds, respective speeds. So don't get confused, I'm going, I'm going to call it, why don't we use capital letters for their names? Their names are going to be represented by capital letters, and I'm making too much fuss here. I'm making too much fuss here now. And S is going to be S represents. Let S be the speed of the slow guy. Similarly, let small f be the speed of the fast guy. And we just found out from here, we just found out that S, 
which is the speed of Mr. S, the small letter S, because he travels d kilometers in 8 hours, that is speed, his speed is d over 8 kilometers per hour, that's his speed, d over 8. Similarly, we can figure out the speed of the fast guy. Let's do the fast guy. How much does fast guy travel? Fast guy has to travel, Mr. Mr. F has to travel, has to travel, not only this d kilometers, in order for him to reach this point, not only has to tell our d kilometers right here from here to here, the d kilometers, but because he's behind Mr. S, he has to tell our additional 16 kilometers. So he has to go 16 kilometers first, and then another d kilometers at the point of meeting. So Mr. F has to travel 16 plus d kilometers in 8 hours. So what is his speed? His speed must be 16 plus d kilometers over 8 hours. This is his speed. Those are their respective speeds and those speeds are not going to change. That's the, that's the crucial part, that's the most important part. Because if you keep changing the speeds in the middle of the story, the problem cannot be solved because then you are introducing too many unknowns. Then you are introducing too many unknowns. We, have to, we can only handle two unknowns here because we only have two equations. And the two equations come from the fact that we have two parts of the story. Let's look at the second part of the story. So that's what we, that's what we extracted from the first part of the story. Let's look at the second part of the story when they go in the opposite direction. So that's it, we're done with this part. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction. Now keep in mind that when they go in the opposite direction, when they go in the opposite direction, the only distance that they have to travel, the only distance that they have to travel is the 16 kilometers because that's how far apart they were. So now F is going to go in this direction, S is going to go in this direction, somewhere they're going to meet. Somewhere there's going to be point of meeting here. And that entire thing is 16 kilometers. What we're going to do now is to redraw the 16 kilometer in a magnified form so that it's easier to look at, okay? So here's our Mr. F, he's standing right here. Here is our Mr. S, he's standing right there. And they are 16 kilometers apart. They are 16 kilometers apart. They start walking towards each other. They start walking towards each other and this is their point of meeting. Point of meeting. P-O-M, point of meeting. Let's give this distance its name. Let's call it D1 kilometers. What? Keep, keep, keep. Stay, stay with me in the story. If this, if we're going to call this thing D1 kilometers, then this distance has to be 16 kilometers that they were apart, minus the D1 kilometers that F had to travel in order to meet S when they're walking in the opposite direction. Now, technically speaking, logically speaking, as you can see, as you look at the picture here. This picture is not actually drawn to scale, as you can, not only is it not drawn to scale, but it's illogical. Why is it illogical? Because if I'm going to call this fast guy, then fast guy, in the given amount of time, in the two hours that they, are, that they meet, they meet in two hours. In the amount of two hours, the fast guy will of course travel more than half the distance. 16 is the total distance from here to here. In the two hours that it takes for them to meet, F will have traveled more than half the distance. And this thing, this point that I'm showing here, of course, is not more than half. It should have been somewhere here which would have been somewhere there, which, which, would, which would have looked better, which would have looked more logical. Let's put some point of meeting somewhere here. Point of meeting, and he travels D1 kilometers, and this guy travels 16 minus D1 kilometers, which is this guy, the slow guy. Okay, enough said. Let's figure out their respective speeds from here. Keep in mind that they meet in two hours. If they meet in two hours, that means this the fast guy, which we're representing, the speed of the fast guy with a small letter f, since he's traveling d1 kilometers, in how many hours? In two hours. But we are told that the speeds never change. The speeds never change throughout the entire story. So this speed that we're showing here is the exact same guy as this guy. The speed that we're showing here, the f, is the exact same quantity as this f. They are equal to each other. Which means this quantity has to equal this quantity right here, 16 plus d over 8, 16 plus d over 8. Again, I should not have been so generous with the with the with the with the space. Tell you what, I'm going to write this 16 plus d over 8 on this side because we need the room. Sixteen. 
with D over 8. Well, that part is done. Now let's look at the slow guy. Slow guy, as you can see, he's going, his speed is going to be 16 minus D1 over here over 2 because that's how long it takes them. 2 hours is how long it takes them to meet when they're going in the opposite direction. 16 kilometers, they meet in 2 hours. And that speed, this, which is the smallest letter S here, is the same is the same speed as this one. This is the same quantity, which is why they, of course, they would have to be the same quantity because they are represented the same syllables, same symbols. S, they are the same quantities, which means 16 minus d1 over 2, which is this. Uh, this is how many. This is how many kilometers he travels. He travels this this three kilometers in two hours. This speed would have to equal would have to equal the speed that we see here, which is d over 8. There we go. That's it. So we're going to do our work now. The hard part is done. The difficult part is done. The rest is downhill. We need the room so we can erase all of this. Okay, just give me a second. Let's save our demarcation so we can keep the two separate. In case you do not know what I just said. Let's have our demarcation. We learned about demarcation in our vocabulary words a long time ago. I don't know which day, but if you want to improve your vocabulary, the, the lessons are there. Just type in vocabulary words for whichever exam that you're preparing for, GRE, GMAT, SAT, whatever it is. Type in SAT vocabulary words or GRE vocabulary words. I don't know which day we learned it, but we learned about demarcation right here. Demarcation, the boundary, the borders. Let's cross multiply. So 8 times D1, 8 times D1 equals 2 times, 2 times 16 plus D. 8 times D1, I should say, which means D1 must equal 2 times 16 plus D over 8. Let's see what we get here. 8 times, 8 times 16 minus D1 minus D1. 8 times 16 minus D1 must equal 2D. Let's open the parenthesis. What is 16 times 8? 16 times 8. 16 times 8 would have to be 160 minus 32 because 16 times 10 is 160. 16 minus 30, 160 minus 30 would have been 130. So it's going to be 128. So this is 128 minus 8D1 equals 2D. Bring 120, or rather bring 8D1 over there and bring 2D here. So 8D1 equals 128 minus 2D, which means D1 equals 128 minus 2D over 8. This is 128, this is 2, this is 8, since they are all multiples of 2, they are all even numbers. Let's divide this entire thing by 2. And we get 12 has 6 2's and 8 has 4 2's minus D over 4 equals D1. Let's hope and pray to God that I have not made a boo-boo. Do you understand? We're almost done. We're almost to the end here. So this represents D1 and this represents D1. Well, if this represents D1 and that represents D1, which means these two quantities would have to equal to each other. We equate the two quantities and figure out the D. What was the question asking? How fast are they walking? So the, the story is not quite done yet. Once we figure out the D, we have to go back and figure out how fast they were walking. But that's okay. Let's, let's finish up the story. Let's equate this quantity to this quantity. I'm going to do it on the top. As you can see, this is not for the faint-hearted. You understand? So here's 2 times 16 is 32 plus 2 times 16 is 32 plus 2 times D over 8 has to equal this quantity right here. 64 minus D over 4. The very first thing we're going to do is uh, multiply both sides of the equation by 4. If you multiply this side of the equation by 4 and you multiply that side of the equation by 4, we can get rid of this 4 and 8 becomes 2. You understand? Now let's cross multiply. So we get 32 plus 2D has to equal 2 times 64 minus D. 
well this is the 2, this is the 32, this is the 2, let's divide the whole equation by 2, we get 16 plus d equals 64 minus d. Oh, this is interesting. Bring the d to this side, so 2d will have to equal 64, bring 16 over there. 64 minus 16, how much is 64 minus 16? Don't look at me, how the hell do I know? I know 64 minus 20, 64 minus 20 would have been 54, 44, so it's going to be 44 plus 4 more, 48, which is 2d, which means d is 24. I, should, I shouldn't say d is 24, we shouldn't say that d is 24, what we should say is that we are claiming that d is 24, that's what we are claiming, we don't know whether this answer is correct or incorrect, we'll, we'll verify it at the end, okay, let's first continue here, let's first continue. So now we know the value of the d. The question was what did d represent? What did d represent in our story? d if you recall in the original this original setup here was the distance that they had traveled. This was our point of meeting. This was 16 kilometers and this was d kilometers which we now saying is 48 kilometers. So let's see what this gives us. Let's see what this gives us. So what, is, what do we gather from it? Well, I shouldn't have raised that picture there. We needed the picture. I'm going to do it. This was 16 kilometers. This is D, which is 24 kilometers. And this was the fast guy. This was a slow guy, if you recall you. They were 16 kilometers apart. They were 16 kilometers apart, which means fast guy, this implies, if d is 24, then this implies, hence, the fast guy's speed, the small f represents the five guy's speed, must be 24 kilometers that we just found, right here, plus the 16 kilometers. That's how many, uh, that's how fast he's going. And how long does it take them for meet? They meet in eight hours, we were told. They meet in eight hours. There you go. 16, 24 divided by 8 is 3 and 16 divided by 8 is 2, so it's 5 kilometers per hour. 5 kilometers per hour. That's what we are claiming. The question was, what are their respective speed? What we are claiming is that the fast guy is going at 5 kilometers per hour. Let's figure out the slow guy. Slow guy only goes 24 kilometers per hour because he, he was right here. He doesn't have to, he didn't have to travel the additional 16 kilometers. So he's just 24 kilometers in 8 hours or 3 kilometers per hour, which is the slow guy. The question was, what are their respective speed? The answer is, we are claiming that the fast guys went at 5 kilometers per hour and slow guy was going at 3 kilometers per hour. Now we are going to verify the answer. As far as the problem is concerned, as far as the problem is concerned, we are done. We are going to take a few seconds, as we always do, to make sure that this story adds up when we look at the second part of the story. Second part of the story is when they were going in the opposite direction. And this, this, these speeds that we found here, this speeds that we are claiming here, and this distance that we are claiming here, all of that has to make sense when we, adjust, when, we, when we put all of this thing in the second part of the story. Let's do it on the top. So here is the verification. In eight hours, well, there are two ways we can actually verify it. We know that they, they took them eight hours, so here's the verification. In eight hours, in eight hours, when they were going in the same direction, this is the same direction scenario. In eight hours, F goes how much? F is going five kilometers per hour. 5 kilometers per hour times 8 hours. Hours are going to drop out and he goes 40 kilometers. Watch what happens. And in, in the same 8 hours, in the same 8 hours, Mr. S goes only 24 kilometers. Only 24 kilometers. And we better get 24 kilometers when we put in the speed and the hours, which of course we did. 
is he will be claiming that he's going three kilometers per hour, three kilometers per hour for eight hours. But that wasn't the interesting bit. That's what that wasn't the interesting bit. That's right here. That's not really the verification. That's just repeating what we have done here. The, the verification part comes when we look at the reverse scenario. Let's look at the reverse scenario. When they're going towards each other, towards each other, they meet, they meet in two hours, we were told. They meet in two hours. And we, we are claiming that Mr. F, the fast guy, goes at five kilometers per hour for two hours, for two hours. Well, five kilometers per hour for two hours implies that he must have gone 10 kilometers. Keep in mind that they were 16 kilometers apart. We were told in the problem that they are 16 kilometers apart. Here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the punchline. Here's the, here's the, here's the payoff. If the second part, oh, what turns out to be six kilometers, then six plus 10 will be 16. And that will tell us that our answer is correct. Let's look at Mr. S. S goes, we just, we just claimed that S was going at 3 kilometers per hour. And how long did they go? They, go for, they went for 2 hours. There you go. 3 kilometers per hour for 2 hours. That implies that he must, S must have, S must have walked 6 kilometers. S must walk must have walked six kilometers. Voila, six plus 10, 16 kilometers. That's exactly what we were told. We were told in the problem that they were 16 kilometers apart. Here was Mr. F, here was Mr. S. And just like we said earlier, because he's the fast one, he will travel more than half the distance. And it turns out that he travels 10 kilometers, and he travels only six kilometers. And there is their point of meeting. It all makes sense. Do you understand? It all makes sense. I shouldn't put arrows in both direction. They're walking towards each other. And it all makes sense. It all comes together, which means our answer is correct. I know.